What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the Honda CB350 RS. So this is the touring video on this motorcycle and let's cut the chase because I don't want to waste too much of your time. So considering this as a touring motorcycle, what all things I observe. First of all, I'll say that 80 to 110 is a very, 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 very nice speed on this motorcycle. I was actually doing 120 and 130 at times. There are wind buffeting issues during those speeds. If you want a windscreen, a taller windscreen, go for that. But make sure that actually the windscreen is giving you a good protection, otherwise don't go for that. The refinement levels, sky high. It's absolutely refined in all these speeds. And the stability on the highway, even with some amount of crosswinds, this motorcycle is actually not making any trouble. I hope you can hear that. Today is a windy day. So the stability of the motorcycle, the weight distribution and the way the, how the motorcycle is actually going on highway and all these speeds are good. Even controlling the motorcycle is also good from these speeds. And this motorcycle is actually considered to be a little sportier version of the Highness. I'll say that this is actually a little bit sportier than the Highness. It's not too much. So you are almost having a similar riding stance. Don't worry too much about it. If you are really looking for a setback kind of a riding feel, then yes, Highness is good. Otherwise, you are going to enjoy this motorcycle as well. And if you want to tour on this motorcycle with luggage, then I'll say that you co it comes with a, a metallic tank here, so you can place a magnetic tank back here. And if you wanted to keep your luggage in the back, yes, there is a big sari guard over there. You can tie your luggage there like a saddle bag. Or of course, you can buy a saddle stay and have your things tied up over there as well. And uh, seating comfort is good, decent for you as well as your pillion. Only one thing is the distance from the pillion seat to the pillion footbag is not too much. So if you have a taller pillion, then he or she might be having a little bit of uh, pain on the knee. Otherwise, it's kind of okay. And this returns a mileage, anything between 35 to 40 km per liter. If ridden in good format, then in the sense 80 to 100, then this has a very good tank range also. Now, if you ask me, if somebody gives this motorcycle for me, how long I can tour on a single day? I'll say that easily I can do a 500 or 600 km per day because very refined motorcycle. And if at all I have to pick this motorcycle, then only one thing which I would modify on this motorcycle for my touring need will be an auxiliary headlight because the headlight pro is not so good. So probably I'll buy a auxiliary headlight, that's all. Other than that, it's a stock motorcycle which is good for touring. So that's all. I hope this video is helpful for you and it didn't took so much of your time. So as always, show some love in the form of likes and comments. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.